Jeremy, there was another issue I wanted to ask you about. Starting with Margaret Thatcher and Ronald Reagan, we've got neoliberal economic policies that have transferred enormous wealth from the people to a small elite. In the 90s, both Tony Blair in Britain and Bill Clinton here in the U.S. moved the Labour and the Democratic parties to the centre-right and absorbed those policies. Is there any hope, after 40 years or more now, of these policies that we can emerge from this? Is there any hope of the Labour Party ever resuming its original roles as defenders of working interests? It's not so much whether the parties do or they don't. The issue is really where the politics of our society goes. We've now had 12 years of austerity, which has led to falling living standards, frozen wages, cuts in public services, and that's likely to get worse. But what's interesting is the levels of pushback against it by working class communities. There are now strikes in all of the major services and most of the industries in the UK, and those strikes are being joined by lots of social justice campaigns as well. And so I am very, very hopeful that a generation is growing up that was mobilized by everything that um, we did in trying to change the direction of the Labour Party and was also what the Democratic Socialists of America achieved in, 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 uh, in changing the um, approaches of many people towards issues of socialism and social justice. And so I think that uh, I'm very hopeful for the future. And the parties, Democratic Party and Labour Party, need to recognize that triangulation towards the center, triangulation where you have one clever move after another to box off this, box off that, and so on, doesn't always work. I'll give you the finish on this. I was in Brazil for the second round of the presidential election. It was very tough. Bolsonaro, very well funded, supported by pretty well all of the media in Brazil against Lula, who had been in prison only three years ago for more than 500 days on trumped-up charges. Lula's campaign did not triangulate. They did not vacillate. What I saw was the most brilliant organization of poor, working-class communities, homeless people, landless people, and people who are desperate for change. And I saw the strength of opposition against them. They won, albeit narrowly, but they did win. And I tell you what, that win gave such confidence to people that when Bolsonaro's henchmen came after Lula and came after the presidential offices, hundreds of thousands of people came on the streets straight away to support Lula. That's confidence and that's hope. The issues remain the same. The issues the new generation remain the same, yeah. going to face the same issues. The new generation faces the same issues. One generation after another faces the issues of social injustice and social inequality. It's the system that has to change. As Bernie Sanders once said, America is very wealthy. America can afford anything except inequality. Thank you, Jeremy Corbyn. You're very welcome.